in this presentation we will study about the shift add 3 method now you might be thinking what is this method and for what purpose it is used so it is used to convert a binary number to a BCD where BCD stands for your binary coded decimal now in the early lectures of this lecture series we already completed this by another method the method was if you are having a number in decimal like 15 and you want to convert it to let's say binary coded decimal then you will write 1 in binary and 1 in binary is written, written as what 0 0 0 1 and 5 in binary is written as 0 1 0 1 whereas if you directly write this 15 in binary it is equal to 1 1 1 1 so what we are meant to do in this method is to convert this thing this binary number directly to this BCD so the I hope you understand what we are going to do in this method so let's move to it without wasting any time whatever the number in binary you want to convert to BCD just write it down and as I have written in this table the original number so the original number is what 1 1 1 1 you have to make this table every time you want to do this method now shift a shift is written here so what we have to do we have to shift to the left so if I shift to the left I am having 1 here this one will shift and the rest 3 bits are here similarly we are done with the first step we are done with the second step now the third step is to again shift it so if I again shift it I am having the two ones in this ones column and the last two ones in this decimal column now the step 3 the step 3 is to shift it again and we are left with a single one now you might be thinking that why are we shifting it three times the reason is very simple that whenever in this ones column the binary number is greater than is greater than 4 you have to stop like in this case we are having one which is smaller than 4 and uh, and you know what is the 4 4 is 1 0 0 Similarly, in this case, this one is 3 and 3 is smaller than 4. So, we continue shifting. Now, we are having 7 and 7 is of course greater than 4. So, we will stop and what we will do? We will add 3. So, 3 is what? 3 is your 0, 1, 1. We will add 3. So, what we are going to have after the addition? 1 plus 1. Let me do it in different color. 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1 and the 0 plus 1 will give you 1 again now 1 plus 1 is what 0 with carry 1 so this is what we are going to get after the addition now this thing is again and, and here definitely don't forget here we are having 1 already this one is here this one and now we again need to shift it so if I shift it I'm having 1 0 1 0 1 now you may see that in this decimals column we are having nothing we are over with all the numbers so this is the point where we have to stop okay and uh, let's analyze what we are having in the tens column we are having one which means it is one in the ones column we are having zero one zero one which is five so it clearly means that we have converted this binary number 1111 to the BCD one and the BCD one is what 10101 one, which we already got here 10101 zero, one, zero, one. these three zeros have no means you can add how many zeros you want to add okay so this method is very good and very handy and very easy to understand and I hope you learned that method in this video lecture only and uh, you now be able to convert the binary number to BCD directly instead of going to this reverse channel. So this is all for this presentation. See you in the next one.